it seems to be heating up. Are people gonna scramble to look for air conditioning units and stuff before the summer hits? And what did I read today? This was kind of interesting, it was a follow-up story. Before there was this drone that apparently flew over a very sensitive area in Japan and people were saying, for example, well, look how unsecure it is. And the video was published online and so forth. And people were speculating, it was someone from China and all that. This one says, owner of unauthorized MSDF drone video, new risk, shared for fun. The owner of a video allegedly showing drone footage of a Japanese Marine Time Self-Defense Force vessel in port has said he posted the video to social media to attract attention despite knowing it was illegal to fly drones in the area. The video, which appears to provide a clear shot from above the deck of the carrier, Izumo, while it was anchored at the MSDF base in Yokosuka, south of Tokyo, spurred controversy after it was posted on a Chinese social media platform earlier this year. Unauthorized drone flights are prohibited near the MSDF's base in Yokosuka with unmanned aerial vehicles jammed or captured if detected. It makes you wonder why that didn't happen in this case, huh? It says, in a recent online interview in English with Kyoto News, the individual claimed he was, quote, not intercepted operating the drone, but declined to disclose details about when the footage was taken or the drone's takeoff and landing locations. He dispelled rumors that the video was fake and generated by artificial intelligence, saying, all the footages I posted are filmed by myself. And apparently, according to this, the person claims he was in Japan, but then he left and he's currently in China and it says acknowledged he was aware the act was illegal and promised not to do it again saying quote I do not have intention to provoke international conflict I just did it for fun he said although I guess with that said if he just did it for fun and it says in the beginning he did it to attract attention was it more about clout for example than actually exposing any type of security issues it says the video was posted on a Chinese video sharing site in March and later reposted on X while some accused the video of being AI-generated, Japan's Defense Ministry said Thursday it was highly likely the video was taken from a drone that flew without permission above the vessel. And saying here, for the officials, we take this matter very seriously as there is a possibility of unmanned aerial vehicles becoming more difficult to detect. We will ensure the base is thoroughly secure, Defense Minister Minoru Kiara said at a press conference Friday. Would you ever dare to do that, for example? Let's just say fly around some military site or something like that knowingly in another country where i guess the thought for some people are hey i'm leaving the country anyways like you're not going to be able to come after me afterwards i don't know that's kind of risky isn't it at the same time i guess it does make you wonder again how come the drone wasn't intercepted if they have all these high-tech gizmos and all that to track drones anyways and i was reading this i was like what the heck is going on here there's protesters like at a tesla factory or something like that like this one says the anti-Tesla activists break through the police lines and reach the fence of Gigafactory. Police seems disoriented. Hey, you can see all these videos and stuff of people charging, I guess, there. Like, what's going on? Is it just like a regular protest for environmental purposes as an example? And then there's other ones saying here, activists from across Germany and Europe are gathering in Grunheide near Berlin to protest against Tesla and support the local residents in their fight against the planned expansion of Tesla's Gigafactory. They fear deforestation and water shortage, among other negative consequences for the community. Preparations have started in a self-organized camp for a long weekend of action. Yeah, and again, there's a bunch more pictures and videos and there's police, it seems like, I guess, trying to control the situation. So with that in mind, you would think, okay, that's crazy. But with that said, apparently, officially, Elon Musk posted here saying, this is fake news. Protesters did not manage to break through the fence line. There are still two intact fence lines all around. Note this is, quote, National Protest Week in Germany. So there are a lot of protests for many different reasons. Is that an actual event there, Protest Week? Yeah, in general, there's so many protests and issues, and for this topic in particular, too, if it's for environmental reasons, it just seems like you can never win, huh? Because I could imagine there's a protest against things, for example, like using fossil fuel vehicles and all that, but now that you have, I guess, a company doing things like electric cars and so forth, I guess that would be bad, too, in a lot of people's minds. It's like, it'll never end, I suppose, in terms of you can't, I guess, make everybody happy. What's the middle ground that's, I guess, the best way to go in that regards? And then with that topic of AI, I was reading this, how apparently there's going to be dating sites where you're going to have this AI bot, I guess, date or talk to people on your behalf. 
to see whether or not they're the right fit for you? How is that even, I guess, practical in the long run? This one says, Bumble's Whitney Wolfhurt says your dating AI concert will soon date hundreds of other people's concerts for you. Can you imagine that? Just these basic robots just talking amongst themselves to determine, yep, this person is right or wrong for you. It says, imagine you've dated 600 people in San Francisco without having typed a word to any of them. Instead, a busy little bot has completed the mindless getting to know you chatter on your behalf and has told you which people you should actually get off the couch to meet. That's the future of dating, according to Whitney Wolfhurd, and she'd know why. There's a person tried before, for example. It says, Wolfhurd is the founder and executive chair of Bumble, a meeting and networking platform that prompted women to make the first move. While the platform has now changed the aspect of its algorithm, Wolf Hurd said the company would always keep its North Star in mind, a safer, kinder digital platform for more healthy and more equitable relationships, always putting women in the driver's seat, not to put men down, but to actually recalibrate the way we all treat each other. Like any platform, Bumble is now navigating itself in a world of AI, which means rethinking how humans will interact with each other in an increasing age of chatbots. I don't know about this. I don't think a bot's going to be able to do a very good job overall at this day and age yet anyways, because how many times have there been stories where people say they were attracted to someone who is the complete opposite, like it's not what they expect? There's so much, I guess, different layers to these types of human emotion and all that, in my opinion. But the funny thing is, too, they mentioned here in terms of how AI bots can go crazy. They talked about this, I guess, situation before. It says in 2021, the AI companion app Replica came under scrutiny after authorities in the UK saw a 19-year-old man planning to assassinate the Queen after he was encouraged by an AI girlfriend built on the app. Experts have also expressed concerns about a perceived void of a legal or ethical framework for apps that encourage deep bonds but are owned by companies that ultimately need to make profit. So what would you think of this? I don't know, again, if it's a good idea in terms of just relying on a bot versus actually going out and doing some human interaction and all that, just really see who's right and who's wrong for you.
All right. See you guys later.